Hey tubers, it's Tony and today we're going to talk right quick about how to reset your tire pressure light on your 2015 Honda Accord LX. The reason why I'm making this video is because I get a number of requests from folks that don't understand how to reset that tire pressure light. So I'm going to run through this right quick with you. If your tire pressure light, that light right there, is on, it means that one of your four tires is now below the normal tire pressure that it normally would be. So what you want to do is get yourself a tire gauge, go around to all four tires, and you want to check the PSI. That's the amount of air that's in each tire. Keep in mind that the PSI is written on all four tires. That means the allowable amount of air that you can inflate your tires up to. For example, on this vehicle, the tire PSI is 51. So if my tires are off, I'm going to make all four tires either 40 PSI or 45 PSI. I'm not really going to go to 51 PSI, if that makes any sense to you. So once you make sure that your tires all have the same amount of tire pressure or the same PSI, you want to get in your vehicle, start the vehicle, and on the driver's side panel, you're going to see this tire pressure light. Push it. Hold it. And what will happen is the tire pressure light on your dashboard will start blinking. Then you can let that switch go. What's actually happening when that light is blinking is the vehicle is recalibrating the tire pressure. And now you need to drive the vehicle for about 30 minutes. And then eventually that light should go off. And it's just that simple, guys. That's how you um, reset the tire pressure light on your vehicle. And again, remember... If that light is on, it's because one of your four tires is below the normal tire pressure and you want to go check all four tires and in the end, you want to make sure that all four tires have the same amount of air in them, whether it's 40 PSI, 35 PSI, 45 PSI, but you don't want to go to the full amount um, that's written on the tire. So again, if it says 51 PSI, you can get away easily by putting 45 PSI in all four tires. So I hope this video helps guys. Thanks for watching and take care.